Okay, I'm going to show you how I edit my videos. Uh, basically, I open Adobe Premiere. This is the software I use. You can't actually buy this. You have to rent this for Adobe and pay a monthly fee for it. I think it's about £9.95 um, to get this program. Uh, all I do is put File, New, Project, and uh, I just go with whatever's on here at the moment. Click OK and go into the desktop. So we're going to start a new project first thing i want to do is import all the video that i've just recorded for my terminator so i double click on import media and as you can see i've got it all in here one two three four five six seven there's seven things in there but there shouldn't be so i've got something extra in here that i'm not meant to have that i don't know oh that's what's been recording at the moment <laughs> right so i've got six uh items once they're in there i'll explain what they all are because what I'm waiting for, if you can see this down the bottom where it says conforming, I'm waiting for that to finish. Uh, I'll explain what that's for in a minute. So what we've got here, we've got my sound, which I'll put there. Then my head cam. Then I've got my side cam. This is my top cam. Nope, that's the side cam. That's my phone cam. That one there is one of the camcorder sides, and that's another side cam there. So I've got basically uh, five cameras and one sound file. Now, I'm still waiting for the conforming. Now, the sound file is going to overwrite the sound for all of these, but it's also going to put all of these videos in a stack so that they're all the timelines are exactly together. So the way I do that is I highlight the sound file, press Shift and highlight the whole lot. Once I've done that, I right click and click Create Multi-Camera Source Sequence. And when I've done that, we need to make sure it's, we're, we're, we're making a multi-camera using Audio 1, which is this audio track here. Click OK, and it's going to process all of this, and leave one little file here, just like that. And then what that's done is it's put all of those cameras together in some sort of like studio mode, so that I can edit through it. As you can see, I can just whiz back here. But if I want to see the multiple cameras, if I click on the spanner and click multi-camera view, there we go. And then when I'm doing this view, I can just click on what camera I want to show at the time. So I'm going to put my headphones on so I can hear what's going. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear the sound while I'm editing that. But uh, I've got to figure out where my video starts. So let's uh, play some of this. No, I've got up for some reason. Uh, let's have a look. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Let's have a look. Uh, where do I start? Do I start about there? I think I do. This is weird. Okay. Right, so. No. I must start about here, I reckon. Yeah, that's where I start. See, I'm reading what everything is at the moment, so. Here we go, so I'm all ready to okay. do the start. Hang on, get picking up my microphone. This is test, fun. test, 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 test. Hello, hello, hello. Starts there, so this bar here makes the timeline go smaller or bigger, so I can get the exact cut right. Then I click on the razor blade icon here, which is the cut. So if I click that, it makes a, a, a straight cut between that. I click on the top item there, the selection tool, and all I'm going to do is highlight both of those and press delete. Once that's deleted, I right click and put ripple delete and it moves everything on that timeline to the beginning. So now when I play it now. Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, it's the world away. And we've now got part 41 of Hashet Partworks Build the Terminator. So I'll stop it there and I'm going to put another cut in. Now I need to put the introduction in. So what I can do there is double click here, go to where my introduction is, which is in my Build the Terminator file. And that's brought that into this section here. And then I'm going to right click and click insert. And there we go. That puts the Terminator file in there. So we'll play it again. Terminator. There we go. Now I start talking, as you can see by the waveforms here, around about there. So I'm going to cut that there. And then there's nothing going on there. Look, there's no talking or sound there. So I'm going to cut that around about there as well. And then once again, arrow icon and delete all of the things that I'm not going to need. Right click, ripple delete. So let's put them together. So now, now apart from the fact that we've got a Terminator lying back there looking half dead, uh, this is a really good issue because before I even go into the issue, 
Now, if you can see here, I'm about to show you something on the top camera. So while it's playing, I'm going to click this area here and it will switch the camera automatically. So I'll show you how I'm doing that. Good issue because before I even go into the issue, uh, check this out. I don't know if you can read this, uh, but it's telling you about the replacement. So as you can see, it's already put the cut on there now. So when we pass that now, to the issue, uh, check this out. See? I don't know if you can read this, uh, but it's telling you about the replacement parts for the fingers that we've been waiting for. Uh, and pretty much any loose fingers you Back have, all you're going to do is pop those joints off and replace them with what's in this bag. And basically, exactly like we did for the other fingers, you've got the sleeves and the pins each end. So that does come in issue 41. Uh, you'll have to let me know if you want me to demonstrate how to put them in because uh, they're dead simple. It's just like... Put so, as you can see, all of these cuts here are where there's been camera changes when you saw me clicking through them. So, let's show you again. Any loose fingers you have, all you're going to do is pop those joints off and replace them with what's in this bag. And basically, exactly like we did for the other fingers, you've got the sleeves and the pins each end. So, that does come in issue 41. Uh, you'll have to let me know if you want me to demonstrate how to put them in because... Uh, they're dead simple. It's just like put the sleeve in and uh, put one pin in one side and one pin in the other side. So uh, can't really go wrong. But uh, Now before I do any, any other editing, because you don't need to see me editing the whole thing, I'm going to show you how I put my graphics in. The first graphic I have is the subscribe graphic. Now I'm going to put this back to composite view, which just puts that main camera up. Now with those screen changes you saw, Boy. it automatically do that in the composite camera. So watch this. Before I even go into the issue, uh, check this yeah. out. I don't know. So you, it shows you the changes on there. But basically, the uh, subscribe button I've got is just a green screen. Uh, let's go into my YouTube stock footage. It's just a green screen subscribe animate button. And all I'm going to do is put that in here on this line. Now, the further up you go, the more like this, this video file is going to be on top of this video file. So obviously, you can't see what's going on below there because this is green. So we need to tell the computer that I want that green to be clear. So what we do for that is I click on effects and type in the word ultra and it brings up ultra key here and then I click on that and drag it over to the top of that video like that. Then I click on effects here and as you can see ultra key is now there and all I've got to do is pick up the dropper and say to it what colour do I want to make clear. So it's this one, bump, see, simples. So it goes there. Now this is far too big so what I do is I double click and it brings up the little uh, zoom lines there so I can actually scale it you see and then what I do is I'm just going to move this down to where I want it around about the right size about there and then we move that down to there so let's see how that all looks hi all welcome to the channel welcome to my world's the world away and we've now got part 41 of Hashet Partworks build the Terminator yep that works good and then what I do is I have a, uh, a Twitter uh, feed that comes up here and to do that all I do is click on graphics and then I scroll down there's already a template on here for this if you haven't got this template it is available to download so I'm not sure where it is let's have a look I think it's just after this it's by Urshad PC makes this and all I do is drag that into here like that and then I double click on this section here because I don't want it to say Urshad PC I want it to say it's world away Type in It's World of Wayne. I make the scale always about 70, 64, doesn't really make a difference. And then that will go just there. So when this one starts, this is going to be very, very uh, jaggedy because it hasn't rendered, but it's going to look like this. Now, apart from the fact that we've got a Terminator lying back there looking half dead, uh, this is a real... And that's how you put graphics on. So I'm going to edit the uh, rest of the video. Uh, when I get to the end, all I do to make it into a video file is click on File, Export, and then click Media. And then I make sure that the preset is set to YouTube 1080p, and then just give it a file name. So I don't know, Terminator Video. Click Save. And then as soon as I click Export, it's going to make that into a video. And that's all it is to it. That's how I edit and make my videos. <laughs> I hope that's a help.